What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and welcome back to another course review video. In this series, I am buying and reviewing popular YouTubers day trading and investing courses. I've already reviewed three courses and we've got a bunch more to go, but today we are going to review Ricky Gutierrez Learn Plan Profit course. I'm going to give you the full breakdown, what I think of it, and we're also going to compare it to the other courses that I've done so far. If you guys get any value out of this video and you want to see the upcoming course reviews, definitely consider hitting that like and subscribe button and let's jump right in. Okay, so this is what my YouTube looks like right now and if you just go and type in Ricky Gutierrez he should come up right away this is his most recent video from two hours ago and so now we can go to show more click on learnplanprofit.net it looks like and this should pull us up so if we click on enroll now learn plan profit you can basically see I think he filmed this when he was a lot younger because he looks pretty young here compared to his current videos but um, it should be good so let's do this Okay, so the course costs $299, and I'm going to pay with PayPal. There we go. Okay, so it looks like we're in. Welcome, you've successfully enrolled into Learn Plan Profit. Get excited to begin your journey. Order ID, and you will receive a confirmation email at said Hartley. Welcome to Learn Plan Profit. Congrats on taking the first step, getting started. How to ask questions. I look forward to being a part of your success. Continue to the course. Okay. Okay, we are in the course. Here's the course, course curriculum. It looks like we've got a big introduction section here. Brokerage list, chart, chart studies and techniques, TD Ameritrade, swing trading, ETFs, learn plan profit survey. Oh, it's not actually, it's not a ton of videos here. It looks like it's probably like 25, 30 videos. Kind of depends on how long each video is. It looks like kind of between 5 and 15 minutes. So this should probably take me a day or two. And uh it's time to get going, time to get studying, time to watch this first video, and here we go. All right, you guys, I'm officially done the course. Now it is time to jump into the review. Let's get going. So the course structure, like I said, it costs $299 usd and in the course there's actually about 75 different video lessons i messed up in my intro there i thought there was just like 20 or 25 videos but when you go to this introduction section and you click on the basics for instance there's actually two hours worth of video content in just this section and there's like 10 or 15 videos here so when you go through the entire course it's actually like 15 hours long and there's over 75 videos so that kind of caught me off guard i wasn't quite prepared for how long the course was and how much is in here but that's okay more content the better so that was nice to see there's about 75 videos most of the videos are between 2 and 15 minutes long about 15 hours of total video time and the nice thing about Ricky's course that I like is when you buy it you get access to the discord chat which is a massive community of traders and people that are investing that are basically going into the group chat and sharing their ideas but on top of that I think the the most value there is in that morning live chat where Ricky actually posts his like first 30 minutes of trading every single day he posted into his discord chat and that is very hard to do on a daily basis so I definitely uh, I, I give him props on that because that takes a lot of work but this is pretty much what you get you get the the entire 75 videos you get access to the discord chat you get uh, the morning live chat every single day and then you get a couple of Excel sheets none of them were amazing Excel sheets but they're just kind of basic track your profit and loss kind of thing now the main theme of this course is definitely short-term trading and investing he talks a lot about day trading where he uses mostly indicators and he talks a lot about swing trading where he focuses a lot on patterns he also goes into a lot of detail about how to use the VWAP the MACD the exponential moving average Average and the simple moving average and he has an entire section in the course about ETFs so if you're interested in trading the Nasdaq the S&P 500 JNUG gold uh, natural gas any of those type of ETFs he has an entire section in there uh, that is dedicated to it and I thought it was really well done I haven't seen anybody else go into detail on ETFs like Ricky has so that's one thing that's definitely unique about his course now things that I liked what did I like about his course number one it has lots of content number two it has swing trading and day trading so if you want to do just one 
or just the other, you'll be able to get what you need out of this course. If you want to do both and kind of blend them together like what Ricky does, you have all of that in there. So you can kind of pick or choose or you can do both. I think that's a good way to set it up. Next one is I thought Ricky did a good job of finding good examples. That can be a difficult thing when you're trying to teach concepts about the VWAP or the MACD or support and resistance. Finding good examples can be different and Ricky did a good job at that. I also thought the ETF section that he had was extremely well done, lots of detail, great understanding of how to use ETFs, inverse ETFs and futures. So I thought all of that was extremely well done and the ETF section was definitely more detailed than any of the other courses I've seen so far. Now let's talk about things that I did not like. So number one has to be organization of the lessons and organization of the course. I did not like that like half the content was right in that introduction and it was broken down into like a couple different sections with like 10 videos in each. I just thought that could have been organized a little bit differently and I didn't like how the videos were very disconnected one to the other. The other courses it kind of felt like you did one video and the next one added on to it and you built a strategy by the end of it. Ricky's video was more like here's the different pieces go put it together for yourself and so I found I found that the organization of the entire course as a whole could have been done a little bit better. I also noticed that he filmed pretty much everything in 2018. Now most of the strategy, the principles and the indicators will not have changed since then, but some of the softwares will have and the examples that he was using were fairly out of date. He was looking at Tesla at two and three hundred dollars and now it's trading at six or seven hundred dollars after a four to one split. So a lot of the examples are fairly outdated. And then level two, he did one video on level two and I actually thought it was pretty poorly done. I thought he could have done a much better job about how to read the tape, how to understand level two, how to make trades based off of level two and how to integrate it into your trading. There was very little detail about that and I thought he could have done much more information on that because I do think it's important. And then lastly, he had his section in there like in the middle of the course called bonus videos. And in this section, he was talking about how to make money in real estate, in cars, in motorcycles and how he drives fancy cars and honestly I thought it uh, didn't help his course at all I thought it kind of lost a little bit of credibility people are buying this course for stock trading and if they want to learn about real estate or cars they'll probably go somewhere else um, so if it were me I would just focus on stock trading and the bonus videos didn't really offer a whole lot of value to me so those are the things that I did not like I'm pretty much nitpicking at this point I thought the course was good Overall, there were no major issues or no major red flags. He didn't give you any bad information. So I thought overall the course was really good. Now, who is this course best suited for? That is the goal of these reviews. That is why I'm doing these reviews is so that hopefully if you're looking to find a, uh, a trading course or an investing course, hopefully you can watch my videos and figure out which one is best for you. And so this course is going to be best suited for day traders and swing traders. You have to have a basic understanding of the market. You have to know uh, what a ticker is and how to make a trade and and the basics of actually buying and selling your first share. You should probably have already done that before you take this course because he's not going to walk you through the, the very minute details of how to set up an account or a line chart versus a candle chart. You need to kind of have the basics under your belt before you get into the course, which would not be difficult. If you're interested, check out my channel. Uh, and then he also did a focus on ETFs. So if you know that you are going to be trading ETFs, you're going to be trading NQs or the SPY or gold or oil or whatever it might be, if you know you're going to be an ETF trader, this is probably going to be a really good course for you because I haven't seen anybody else go into detail on ETFs like this. I also like that he has morning briefings. So if you're a guy that likes to sit at your computer at the bell and you want to have somebody that's also sitting at the computer giving you their thoughts, this is a good fit. But like I said, I do think you need to have just a basic understanding of how the market works and maybe have made your first trade or two before you take this course because there are a couple things that he's not going to cover in it. Now, recently I reviewed Charlie from Zip Trader U, another popular YouTuber here on the platform, and now I'm reviewing Ricky's and I I like both these guys. I think they're extremely good at what they do. I just want to compare their courses a little bit right now. So, Number one is that they have very similar trading styles. When you look at Ricky and you look at Charlie, they use different indicators, but the reasons of why they buy and sell a stock are almost identical. So I really like that. Ricky had more content than Charlie's course, but I thought Charlie's course was much better organized and easier to follow and go from one video to the next. 
Ricky's was a little bit more choppy, but Ricky did focus more on some particular indicators such as the VWAP. Ricky uses the VWAP a lot and he goes into great detail about how to use it and how it works. He also goes into much more detail about ETFs like I mentioned, whereas Charlie focuses more on companies. Charlie will actually go in and read the financials. You don't talk about any of that. You don't look at any of that in Ricky's course. You're not pulling up financials. You're not looking at the company itself. You're looking strictly, almost strictly at the chart and Ricky also offers morning trading every single day. I don't think Charlie does that, but Charlie does offer a Discord chat. And so these are kind of the comparatives and what I, uh, I see as benefits for both Ricky and Charlie. Now I am doing an overall comparison for all of these courses. I am judging them based on the strategy and explanation, the value for the money that they charge and the production quality of the actual course. Can you sit through and watch it? And for Ricky, I've basically given him a score of 24 out of 30 and here's how I'm judging it. So strategy and explanation, I'm giving him a seven because he had more content than Charlie, but I thought Charlie's was better put together, even though they pretty much cover the same topics just in different ways. So I thought the strategy and explanation between Ricky and Charlie was pretty much the exact same, just better in different areas. When you look at the value for the money, I'm giving Ricky a nine over an eight. The reason I'm giving Ricky a better score on value for the money is because number one, he has more content in his course, but number two, he wakes up every single morning and does the live trading, the live trading as soon as the bell opens. And that just takes a lot of commitment. And the fact that you get access to that for a lower course purchase price, I think that adds a little bit more value for the money. However, the production quality for Ricky was a little bit lower. Uh, the audio was kind of up and down. The videos were sometimes um, a little bit choppy and a little bit tough to understand. And Ricky says, um, a lot. So if that drives you nuts, if you hate somebody that says, um, you're going to go crazy in Ricky, Ricky's course. But other than that, everything was good. You could fully understand everything. Nothing was pixelated. Nothing was, um, made for YouTube. It was all specifically made for this course. And so overall, I thought the production quality was good. I thought there was a couple small issues, but I'm giving him an eight on production quality and he's actually getting the same overall score as Charlie. And honestly, for either 299 or 399 for these guys, a stock market course, I honestly don't think you can go wrong. I think there's more than enough value at those price levels in these courses. So that's my kind of general thoughts there. Okay. Now in summary, if you're interested in checking out Ricky's course and giving it a shot there's a link down below that will take you right to the home page but if you get any value out of this video remember to click that like and subscribe button I sincerely appreciate it and I got a bunch of videos upcoming pretty soon I'm forking out the cash to buy warrior trading and actually go through his course and give you a re real honest review and I'm also going to do Umar Ashraf's stock market labs course I'm looking at Griffin Milk's investing course and I'm also going to do humble trader uh, Shay, I believe she lives in Vancouver. I'm going to try and do her course or join her chat as well. And I'm going to give you guys an honest feedback and an honest review. So if you like that and you get any value, give me that like and subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Good luck trading. Good luck investing. Talk to you soon.